um, a few years ago I heard a statistic, and it was if you took everybody on the planet and stood them shoulder to shoulder, they would fit in. And I've, I've uh, re-quoted that quote, even though I didn't know the statistic. I didn't say anything stupid like fit in a bus or in my backyard. Uh, I don't think they would fit in my backyard, and I wouldn't want them there anyway. In fact, I know they wouldn't all fit, because I don't think even the village that I live in would fit in our backyard. But that's kind of beside the point. Uh, I went to this Google website, and they gave statistics on planet Earth, and they said there are 7 billion people on the planet. And uh, first of all, I thought, who knows, right? Who knows that there are 7 billion people on the planet? Nobody has gone out and counted them. It's like the people that say, oh, we dream every night. I've said that for years. Then one day I stopped and I thought, and I th thought nobody knows that. Nobody knows if I dream every night or you dream every night or if everybody dreams every night. Somebody made that up at some point in time, and it's been passed down as a truism. Mm -mm -mm. But uh, at any rate, I went into Google and I looked to see if they took all 7 billion people and they stood them shoulder to shoulder, where would they fit? And apparently all of them would want to fit in L.A. Or would, would fit in L.A. I don't think all of them would, would want to fit in L.A. I certainly wouldn't want to fit in L.A., especially if all the other people on the planet were in L.A. Nothing, uh, it's just, L.A. is crowded as it is, and there's lots of cars, and if you put people shoulder to shoulder, that would be um, crazy. But I look at I look at that. I look at the fact that all of the people on the planet, uh, according to just the probably mathematics, I don't know how they would figure that out, would fit into L.A., and uh, then they say to us that the planet is becoming horribly overpopulated, and it's warming up incredibly, and it's in the, and all these facts are thrown out there, and I'm not sure that they're facts. Uh, I was reading a website today, and I was reading about LED bulbs, which is supposed to be the new and in thing, and it says uh, they last 25 years. Well, <laughs> they haven't been around for 25 years, so nobody knows how long they're going to last. They don't know what's going to break down. You know, they I don't know how long they're being guaranteed for, but there are a lot of facts going out there. Uh, the world is becoming overpopulated. We're running out of oil and we're running out of food. And uh, if you go someplace like to Hawaii, uh, there seems to be more than enough food. They can't use all the coconuts, even if we used it for alternative fuels, which by golly we could apparently use coconut oil. But I just, you know, there's a lot of little tidbits out there. I'm going to keep searching my brain and stay out in the world of wonder and, and look at other things that I've been taught and listen to as if it was a truism and say, wait a minute, what if this is not true? What if the planet is not becoming overpopulated? What if uh, we have enough food on the planet and it's merely greed and the problem of distribution that is the problem and money being spent uh, in silly things like, ooh, I don't know, weapons. www.micpeakperformance.com